Hey guys, Don De, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to actually liquid cool your graphics card. I'm using the Kragen G10, which is a solution to use with any liquid cooler. In this case, I'm using the Kragen X41 to actually liquid cool your GPU. Um, it's a very simple process, just a few steps. Now, the G10 retails for uh, about $28 on Amazon. We'll have the link for you below. You can use your old uh, liquid cooler or as or the Kragen X41, which is uh, 109. So I have two screwdrivers there you need your gpu i've taken my two uh adx here and um i'm going to actually uh remove the look the the cooling on the system but first let me show you what's in the package contents here for the uh g10 now the g10 comes in four different colors you can get white blue red or black and this helps you this should help boost your performance up to 40 percent so in here you have some instructional material um, in there, you do have a uh, some screws, some bolts, backplate bolts for your for your cooling, uh, zip tie, uh, instructional manual. Of course, you have a fan, cooling fan, which is needed. And uh, underneath that, I uh, take that off. This is your encasement. So this is where you actually will connect the pump from the uh, your liquid cooling, the Carrigan X41 in my case, uh, to the NZXT G10 um, enclosure. Uh, so set that aside, uh, open up the Kragen X41. Now, again, like I mentioned, you can use any liquid cooling solution you have, um, or you could use the X41, which we chose for 109. Uh, this is a single single fan, 140 mm fan liquid cooling unit. Uh, open up uh, this case for you so you can see what's in the contents here and what we're gonna be putting into our Kragen uh, G10 to make this liquid cooling uh, solution. So. Just gonna pull that out and uh, showcase what we have here. So you do have a radiator, of course, with all enclosed liquid cooling solutions, you should have a radiator, which is right there. Uh, that's the radiator there. And then we have a 140 mm fan. And then we have, of course, our liquid cooling pump all the way to the cool header block, which we'll use. Some screws, that stuff we don't need because we're not liquid cooling a CPU, it's actually a GPU. So that's pretty much all we need here for this. And we are going to set this aside for now. And then we can go ahead and um, take a crack at our um, uh, GPU. We're gonna actually unscrew everything. So um, before we even do that, and just to show you that's where that will actually fit, the uh, X41 cooler and then your fan's gonna be on the other side. So enough of all that talk, let's uh, let's get, that, get down to the goodie, move some stuff aside, take a look at our graphics card. So that is the uh, diamond, uh, 290 uh, 280x that i have and i'm basically going to unscrew it so i have to have five screws at the bottom uh one two uh three four five and then of course you have to take out the center holding piece so you have to unscrew all that to actually get your gpu um off the cooling of your gpu off so that's the first thing you need to do so moving closer take a look at that you're going to take off all the screws there and uh, you can see it's a, it's a very simple process. It's nothing too strenuous. Once you take all that out, uh, you can separate the cooling from um, this and you can see that and pop it up. Make sure you unplug uh, the cooling fan and that is your GPU centered. Now, the next thing you need to do is the back plate, please. You need to connect that, um, uh, which comes with the G10. This is the back plate of the G10. You need to put the screws matching the points uh, or which graphics card you have. There's a chart for you there. Now, most AMD graphics cards are on the A and um, Nvidia cards are on the B, but there's a chart on the manual which you can reference to show you where you need to put the screws for each uh, graphics card. And then basically you slide it at the back to give you the back plate in there. and that's should fit right there for you. So you can now place your liquid cooling on top, but it's a very simple process. Let's make sure we pop that in correctly and boom, there you have it. So the next thing you need to do is make sure you screw the fan on. Now the fan has been screwed on already, but basically uh, making sure that the NZXT logo is facing you as you put down the face plate. So you make sure that's screwed in tight and uh, in place on the larger uh, circular cutout. And then you slide in your um, 
your CPU cooler, you basically have to slide it in and rotate it till it actually locks into the hook. Once everything is placed in together, you want to lay down your G10 with the cooling onto the your graphics card board and screw it down. There's some cushions provided you can put at the very end uh, side of the fan to actually just balance everything properly if you need to. And you're gonna screw it in and you should be good to go. It's a very simple process. Uh, shouldn't take you too long to actually do this. I'm speeding up the video just because I was kinda slow here. But uh, you get the idea. Once you generally uh, fitted and screwed all the screws in together, your GPU is locked into place. Now the fan connectors, you connect to your board, but make sure you twist tie everything so you have a clean look. Now, of course, don't mind my board, my whole setup here. This is my test PC, so everything's a hot mess in terms of wires, so I apologize, but this is how it would look in your system. All the fan connectors can connect to your board, and um, you basically should get greater performance from this. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, do subscribe to the channel, guys, and always enjoy your entertainment.